Hello everyone, I'm Jonas and after doing the procedural video yesterday about procedural content in general in games uh, I had the day off today so I thought I'd pop into UDK and see what I could throw out and this is basically what I wound up with. Uh, what I have here is a sort of uh, general layout of just the floors and the walls and again these are property of Tiago Klafke um, so I'm just borrowing them for this map as well. Uh, I have a few dynamic lights as well just to make sure that everything is nice and bright. Uh, but I'll just pop into the game and you'll see how it works. Um, so basically if I play from here I spawn on this little platform just to see uh, what happens basically. So I have my general sort of wall layout and the floors and then when I shoot this flying pillar here it um, sort of puts together a map out of the pieces. You can see them uh, sort of flying around the map here. Um, and the thing is, every single time I fire this one, it um, it picks out new pieces. Obviously, uh, well, not obviously because I haven't shown you yet, but um, I'm using sort of a one to three random um, because I have three... The map is divided into four pieces and I have three separate layouts for every piece. Um, so there's a one in three chance that the piece that's currently in the level will stay even after I trigger the um, take damage event up here. Um, so it basically picks out a few pieces. I will show you from ground level. Now these um, models don't have any collision detection at all. So you can see me just running through them here. Um, uh, the spawns are supposed to be over here. Now I picked something like layout from Gears of War. Uh, I find it uh, it was some sort of supermarket map or something. Uh, I don't know which Gears game but uh, those games tend to be flatter um, because they're designed for console games which obviously have a harder time aiming up and down. Um, so I just picked out something like these sort of chest high walls now unfortunately they're too big so I can't see over them uh, but just to give you sort of a sense of scale and what happens so we can pick another one so this piece changes and you can pop over to the side here now these are obviously supposed to be some sort of thing you can climb over or hide behind um, I have a side part yeah there's Z fighting obviously um, I can change it again Yikes, and we have different parts. We have a different center as well, I think. Uh, but yeah, this is basically just a way of showing you how uh, how it could be done in a 3D package like the UDK. Um, I will pop into Kismet and show you what it looks like. Um, it's really simple, actually. Um, if you've seen my rotation map this is basically just using the same sort of sort of uh, strategy um, what happens is when I uh, when I have the level loaded here I have a center vector which just controls where the objects are supposed to move which just takes the position of this pillar in the middle here then for every uh, this is basically one part uh, so this is one, as you can see here, this is an object list which contains all of the interp actors. Like if I fly over here, um, this is one of the top parts. So I attach that top part to the, the base here. The pillars are just to know where to move back when I reset it. So everything is attached to this pillar, everything is then um, well, it's basically just iterated 12 times. So these are the three top parts, the three bottom parts, three middle, and the three spawns. So I'm basically just attaching everything to the, the different bases here so I can move them more easily. Because the next part is obviously a static mesh actor take damage. Um, and what I do here is what the hell do I do here? Get location. Oh yeah, this is the resetting part. That's 
what made me confused. So this is resetting. Every time you uh, you shoot this thing, everything resets out to the sides, so nothing is left in the middle. So these are all just uh, moving the the bases back out to the pillars. So this one, for instance, yeah. So you move the bases back out to the oh, it doesn't select, but um, one or the other is moving. Um, so again, I just do that 12 times. The script is real simple. It's just get location, set location, move everything back out, and then I use a random integer here. Um, so if you create new variable int random int, then you show properties, and then you just set one minimum, three maximum. You have one point point three. Um, so it's random, one, two, or three. And then depending on if it's smaller than two, well, that's one, two, or three. It just uh, moves a different part of the um, of the movers, basically, into the map. So it does this for the top, mid, pot, and spawn pot parts. So it just runs through this really simple, really quick. Um, I actually had to add uh, delays to the top part here because it's obviously 12 parts and I have my counter set to 100. 100, 100. Um, so it's obviously 1200 steps plus the nodes, which kind of add up to quite a bit of uh, movement for Kismet. So the delays here are just to um, to sort of make it work without throwing errors as soon as you go into the game. So I'll just pop into the game again here to show you now that you know how it works. And yikes, yeah. It's really weird with the take damage because it uh, it's basically just the, the shock rifle that works. So you have your parts, you have your spawn, you have your mid, bottom, and then the top in the far away there. So I'll just generate a couple of different ones. And... Whoops, I try to show, I want to show you like it takes different parts over here, but of course it doesn't change for some reason. It uses the same one over and over again. Yeah, there, it moves. And uh, because I have no collision, this obviously won't be playable. And since I also have no weapon spawns, and I haven't de designed around any weapon spawns, uh, the game that would use this would have to rely on sort of the player has all the weapons from the beginning, and then they fight uh, like one team on either side. They fight in the middle, and one team wins. Hooray! So that's my short demo for today. Um, thanks for watching, and. Leave a comment if you want to know anything else.